Welcome to Trojan TV. I'm Liv. And I'm Eleanor. Have you checked out the Spirit Week poll on the link? Yeah, I just took it today. Great. Students, you can check out poll results and student news stories on the link online EMS.net. Speaking of news, we have a lot of great stuff this week, so let's get started. Congratulations to Kaya Hornberg and Olivia Seymour for winning their chapter submission to the DAR American History Essay Contest. Kaya's essay also took second in the state level competition. Check out the two essays on the link. Teachers, your rescheduled PLC meeting is from 2.45 to 4.15 on Tuesday. The Invention Project Camp is coming to Central High School this summer. The camp is for incoming 6th through 8th graders. Students can sign up at inventionproject.org and there is more information on their website. Also, there is a table near the main office where students can sign up to win a free scholarship. The drawing will be on April 15th. See Mrs. Brooke for more information. On February 23rd, Brandy Reynolds from the TCAPS Technology Department will be presenting Your Teenage Technology. The meeting will be held in the library from 6.30 to 7.30 and is open to students and parents. Student cadets have been working at Cherry Knoll Elementary as teacher assistants. Here is Sophie and Julia with the story. I can pick her up! <laughs> the Teacher Cadet Program is an after-school activity where some of East 8th graders venture down to Cherry Knoll to help students with their schoolwork. Um, we come down the student cadets come down to Cherry Hill after school and some people work in like classrooms. I work with an individual student but we work with the teachers and the students in the class we're assigned. They're just like an extension of me I feel like. Um, she works with the students that I wouldn't be able to give additional attention to um, and I think that's very helpful. Being a teacher cadet is a huge responsibility, so it comes with some requirements. You need to have certain skills to work with the elementary students. So to be a teacher cadet, we do ask for, we look at attendance, we consider um, grades and GPA, grade point average. We also look at um, other extra experiences that students have, have had, whether it's volunteer, balancing athletics with uh, their academics, uh, or even um, participating in other youth programs throughout the summer. The students enjoy working with the younger kids and think this is a good learning experience for anyone who wants to pursue a career in education. It's fun to help out and like see what the kindergartners are doing. I really like this program like a lot. It's really fun to come down and help younger kids and when you finally like see how they react it's really fun to see that like smile on their face and see their like eyes light up when they finally get something. Teachers find the cadets very helpful and hope there are more next year. Um, it gives, I think, a great experience for my kids and for my cadets. Um, my, some of my students, it gives them some more one-on-one -on -one attention. Here in kindergarten, we are very busy. Um, because the children can't do a lot of the things for themselves, like ripping papers out of workbooks and things like that. So um, my cadet might help me rip out papers and sort them, pack up their mail at the end of the day, all those kind of jobs that are difficult for the children to do. Although the teacher cadet program is mainly eighth graders right now, students from any grade can participate. See the wing office if you want to be included. This has been Julia and Sophie reporting for Trojan TV. Spirit Week begins Monday of next week. Our daily themes are pennies for polka dots and plaid on Monday, nickels for neon on Tuesday, dimes for decades on Wednesday, quarters for quirky hair and hat day on Thursday, and black and gold day on Friday, with a pep assembly at resource. Students are encouraged to bring coin donations each day to raise funds for a new mascot costume, library books, and a por portable sound system for our music department. Also, our school is hosting a family tubing, skiing, snowboarding night at Mount Holiday on Thursday, February 25th from 5 to 8 for our Spirit Week. Get your tickets now. Come enjoy a little winter fun and show your Trojan spirit. Prices are $10 for tubing and $20 for lift tickets. Congratulations to our EMS Math Counts Gold Team for winning the Math Counts Regional Competition. Spencer Crawford, Alex Olin, Carly Fryer, and Ethan Rowe qualified for the state competition in March. The black team also placed high and is sending Jack Kern into states. Peyton caught up with a couple gold team members to learn more about the big win. Hi, I'm Peyton from Trojan TV and I'm here with Ethan Rowe and Carly Fryer. They just won a bunch of awards in their most recent Math Counts competition. So guys, what is Math Counts? Um, math Counts is basically uh, both a competition and a club for um, people who like math a lot. Um, 
So uh, the competition um, took place on Sunday. Um, there were multiple rounds. The first round was um, each person who participated had to take a, um, a test to determine who uh, um, who was in the top 10. And then we had another round of testing to, ter to determine um, individual scores. And then we, um, then we ate tons of pizza. Ethan and Carly will be competing in the Math Counts competition in March for the state championship. This has been Peyton reporting for Trojan TV. Thanks, Peyton. The EMS Math Counts goal team is closing in on achieving gold level for the fourth year in a row. Good luck! There are still spots available for the 2016 8th grade Washington, D.C. field trip. Sign up with a $99 non-refundable deposit. If you're interested, see Mrs. Mackey for an information packet or sign up online at worldstrides.com slash sign up. For 7th graders considering the trip next year, there's an informational meeting about the trip on March 15th in the library at 6 p.m. Learn about the trip details, cost, and ways to start saving. Recently, some of our East Middle School students participated in the Winter Special Olympics Games at Grand Traverse Resort. Here's Olivia and Rachel with the highlights. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, go! Friday, January 15th wasn't just an ordinary day for a group of students at East Middle School. It was the day of Michigan's annual Special Olympics. Well, it's just really a fun day. Um, it's something we've done for about the last eight years. Um, students always really like the competition that maybe they don't get a chance to have in another venue. Um, it's exciting. It's fun to get a day away from school. And um, we'll probably do it again next year. Students trained and practiced to participate in snowshoe racing and cross-country skiing. Well, typically we have some weeks before the special Olympics. they're always in the middle of January. Typically we have some weeks to train on the snow and actually train the snow. This year we did not, so it was more training that we did in our adaptive PE classes. Well, they do strength training, they do speed training. You know, it's really, I don't know if you've ever run in snowshoes, it's really hard. <laughs> I mean, it's hard just to run, you know, for some of the students, but to put snowshoes on. Um, they do just a lot, kind of similar training to that uh, students would do for cross-country skiing or, or that sort of thing. <laughs> this day is the best day ever! The students were excited to be included in this one-of-a-kind event. Well, I like the racing part mainly, but I like to do snowshoe for fun. I like it because it makes you run, like, super fast or something. Um, they run really fast, they try really hard, and it's actually a very exciting sport to watch. The students took home a variety of ribbons from the event. I won first and third. I like when I win and I win some ribbons. I got these two ribbons, like first and first. And I like when I was running so I can win. Well, my favorite part of the Special Olympics is always the fact that the kids and the adults and the volunteers are all cheering for each other. Whether they're first place, last place, or in the middle, it doesn't matter. Everybody's a winner in Special Olympics. This has been Rachel and Olivia reporting for Trojan TV. That concludes this episode of Trojan TV. Yeah, remember Trojans, Spirit Week starts next Monday with pennies for polka dots or plaid. I'm super excited to show off my Trojan pride. Me too. You can also follow Trojan TV and the DMC on Instagram and Facebook where we'll be covering all of the spirit days and more. And don't forget to check out DMC and Trojan TV news on our new website, The Link. Have a great weekend, Trojans. Bye! Why do you even go to school? You're so stupid.